All right, now we're going to look at transform boundaries. Now, transform boundaries are a little different than the ones we've been looking at. They don't involve the plates either coming together or pulling apart. Instead, the two plates just slide past each other without converging, diverging, or anything like that. Now, a lot of these occur along the mid-ocean ridge system here. So let's zoom in a little bit. And oops. In. In. And let's look at this little boundary right in here. And I'll select this region. And what you see is a lot of earthquakes. So there are quite a few earthquakes that occur along this type of boundary. And they tend to be, as you can see, pretty shallow and localized right along the axis of that, uh, of that transform boundary. And they do not go very deep. And also, if we look at the magnitude of them, they're not that big, up to about a magnitude 7 or so. And as far as depth goes, no deeper than about 40 kilometers. And so that's one thing, is earthquakes that we have along these boundaries. And not too much else is actually happening along these boundaries. And let's look at some other examples, though. Let's deselect that. And then we'll head zoom out. And another good example of one of these that is actually on a continent is the San Andreas Fault. So let's zoom in on the San Andreas here. And what you can see along that boundary is a lot of earthquakes. Let's select that region. And yes, a lot of earthquakes along that boundary. And let's look at the types here, up to about a magnitude 7.2 or so. And that's only in the area time period covered by this particular data set. It probably could go a little bit higher than that, but not too much higher. I wouldn't expect a magnitude 9 quake out of this particular uh, boundary. And if we go farther north, let's deselect that, then there's also the Queen Charlotte Fault, which is right off the coast of British Columbia, right over here. And let's select that region. And there we go. And you can see that that likewise has a lot of earthquakes, but they're generally not huge and uh, all pretty shallow. And there's lots of examples of these in many places around the world. There's not much of a correlation with any volcanism. Uh, there are sometimes volcanoes near these types of boundaries, but they don't seem to be related to the boundary very much. And also no real correlation with seafloor ages. Of course, along the mid-ocean ridges, you have pretty young crust, but in areas like the Queen Charlotte Fault here, it's you know, really uh, various ages. And that's about it for the transform boundaries.